Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is how to send exam results in bulk on WhatsApp. Now suppose guys you own some kind of educational institution and then after the exams you have to send the exam results to your, all of your students as a WhatsApp message. Now you are managing all that data of students exam results into a Google Sheet. But manually getting those exam result data from Google Sheet and manually sending WhatsApp message to each and every student with their particular results can be very much repetitive and time consuming process for you. So in this video I came up with an awesome automation by which you just have to get the details or the data of your ex student's exam result from Google Sheet and automatically a WhatsApp message with very same exam results will be sent to all of your students once. That too in bulk without any manual process. Interesting right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen we will be using Pavli Connect which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step by step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself. To know this you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y Pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect by clicking on sign up free you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just 2 minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to WhatsApp. And click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of students and their results which is present in our Google Sheet. Let me show you. This is a spreadsheet and in this spreadsheet I have entered the details of the students and their results. And from this spreadsheet we have to get the details or the data of all the students present over here up to 500 students at a time in Pavli Connect. Then after that guys, after getting the details, result details of the student from Google Sheet in Pavli Connect, we will use that very same data and send WhatsApp message of their results to those very same students. But before that guys, we have to tell this automation, we have to tell this workflow then when and at what time we want to set up this automation, we want to send this results. So we have to basically schedule this automation for a specific date and time that at, at what date and time the results will be sent as a WhatsApp message. For that, we will use a feature of Pavli Connect named as schedule. So in trigger window, we have to select schedule. After selecting schedule by Babli, it is asking us how often you want to run your workflow. So in drop down, we have several options, but we want to send the exam results only once to those students. So we will select once over here. And then it is asking us for the date and time. So at what date and time we want to send the results. So I want to send the results on 20th of July 2022 at 10am. So I'll enter that particular date and that particular time. And after entering the date and time on what date and time you want to send the results, just click on save and send test request. And this automation, this workflow is scheduled for this particular date and time. Now after that, we'll just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. So guys, here we have to get the details or the data of results which of the students which we have entered in Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. So here in choose app, we search for Google Sheets. Then after that, in action event, we will select get rows and click on connect. Select add new connection. And here we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. So just click on this connect with Google Sheets option. And in the new tab, select your Google Sheets account. Scroll down and click on continue. And after clicking on continue, we can see that a Google Sheets account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us to select spreadsheet. So in the drop down below, we can see all the spreadsheet present in our Google Sheets account over here. So it is basically asking us that from which spreadsheet we want to get the details or the data from. 
So the name of my spreadsheet is student results. We will select this very same spreadsheet over here. Then after that, it is asking us select sheet. So in this particular spreadsheet, we can see that I have only one sheet as of now named as sheet one. So we will select sheet one over here. And at last, it is asking us for the range. Now here you must be thinking, what is this range? So in range, we have to enter the range of data, which of our spreadsheet, which we want to get from Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. So let's go to our spreadsheet. So this is spreadsheet. And in this spreadsheet, in this Google Sheet, my data of the students and their result starts from the cell A2, as you can see, and it goes all the way over here to E5. So we have to basically select all the data, excluding the header. We will, will, won't be selecting the headers. After header, we have to select all the data of all the students and their results. And after selecting that all that data, we can see here is the range of our Google Sheet of the data range. Just a second, percent. the data range over here. So just for an example, for this video, I have entered the name or the details of the student, just four student in the spreadsheet. So basically, I have entered the details or the data of just four students over here. But if you want, you can add the details or the data of more than four students up to basically 500 students at a time in this Google Sheet and to get the details or the data of those 500 students in Pavli Connect and process that data and send the WhatsApp messages. So guys, uh, we just have to select the range, just select complete your complete data in the spreadsheet and here you will find the range. Just copy this range from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after that, after pasting the range, just turn this simple response button off to the left side. And here, the important note says, you can get, uh, you can use range as A2 colon D to get all filled rows. D is the last column header of the sheet. Also ensure that you must have data in the given range. So if I remove the row number from this uh, range over at from last, like the row num uh, the range was A2 colon E5. But if I remove the row number five and keep the range as A2 colon E, then it will get the details from cell A2 all the way to column E till the last row till our data exists. So till the last row we will enter uh, the data, it, it will take the range. So in this way also you can enter the details or the data. Then after that, after turning off the simple response button, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we have successfully received the details or the data of the complete range of our Google Sheet over here. So we have all the data co collectively. But guys, here we can notice that we have collectively received the details or the data of the complete sheet, all those students over here. And this data is right now present in our array format. So first, we have to convert this data from array format to simple format as well as we have to extract the details or the data of one student at a time so that we can process the data and send WhatsApp message with the results of one student at a time one by one. So now to do so, to perform these both tasks, just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And here in choose app, we have to search for iterator. Just select iterator over here. And after selecting iterator by Pabli in choose array, it has automatically detected the response which was present in array format. So just click on save and send test request. After cl clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have successfully converted that response from array format to simple format, as well as we have extracted the details or the data of one row of one student at a time. So we have the student name of the very first student, the same mobile number, their class, their person, their exam result, and other details as well. So here the important note says the response include the first expanded data set as value, which can be mapped in further step. At the time of workflow execution, it will process all values one by one. We support iteration of maximum 500 records at a time. So till 500 records, till the data of 500 st student, it supports the iteration. So every time the, the time at which we have scheduled this workflow, this automation, this automation will run, get the details and the result details of the students from Google Sheet. Then using the iterator, it will process the data of each row, each, each student one by one and send the WhatsApp message. So after using iterator, now it's time to send the WhatsApp message. Now we have received the details or the data of student and their results from Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. 
Now let's send the message. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And here in choose app, we will search for WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API it is. And in action event, select send template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here, we have to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter some details of our Cloud API account. So the details are token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So guys, I have already created my own WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I will get these details from my account app dashboard. But if you haven't created your own WhatsApp Cloud API account yet, then guys, we have a separate dedicated video on that too on how you can set up your own WhatsApp Cloud API account. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. By referring to that video, you can set up your own WhatsApp Cloud API account. And after that, you will reach to this app dashboard page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this very same page, you will find all the details which are required to make the connection. The temporary access token, the phone number ID, as well as the WhatsApp business account ID. So guys, just copy this phone number ID from here. Go back to Pavli Connect connection window and paste it over here. Then get back to here. Then copy the WhatsApp business account ID. Go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then after that, it is asking us for the token. So the help text below it says, enter system user generated permanent token as explained here. So guys, the token which we get on this app dashboard page is a temporary access token, which means this token will expire every 24 hour. But guys, don't worry, there is a way you can generate a permanent access token which will never expire. So in the help text in this Pavli Connect connection window, we have a hyperlink over here. Just click on it and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this very same page, you will find all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API, how you can set up your account, how you can generate your permanent access token and other details as well. So you can refer to this page and generate the permanent access token. And after generating it, just paste this token over here and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection, so I'll, I will click on select existing connection and click on save. So after connecting our WhatsApp Cloud API account, it is asking us for the template name. So you here you must be thinking, what are these templates? So the templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages which we want to send to our students with their results. So guys, to send the WhatsApp messages using WhatsApp Cloud API, first we have to create a template message in WhatsApp Cloud API. And after that, we have to get that template approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, we can use that very same template to send the messages. So in the drop down below, you can see all the template messages which I have created in my WhatsApp Cloud API account can be seen over here. If you want to create your own template, just go back to the app dashboard page, scroll down and here in step two, you will find a hyperlink over here. Just click on it and it will take you to a new page on WhatsApp message template page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this very same page, you can find all the templates which I have created in my Cloud API account can be seen over here. If you want to create your own template by clicking on create message template button, you can create any own template of your choice, which you want to send as a WhatsApp message. And we have a separate dedicated video on that too, on how you can create WhatsApp message template in WhatsApp Cloud API, as well as guys, what are the features they offer. And the link of that video will also be in the description box below. So guys, the template which we are going to use in this video is named as exam results. Let me show you exam results. So this is a kind of WhatsApp message which I want to send to the students with their results. So in this message, you can see after hello, I have mentioned the name of the students. So here in body section, you will find after hello, I have added a number in double curly braces. Now here you must be thinking, what is this number? So basically this number in double curly braces is a body field is a variable. So after hello, I wanted to add the name of the student, but the name of the student will keep on changing for every new message sent. So the name of the student will be a dynamic text. So to add these kind of dynamic text in our WhatsApp message, we have added this kind of body field or variable over here. So after hello, in this place of body field one, we will add the name of the student. Then after that, this message says your class and here we have body field two. So here we will mention the class of the student whose result we have announced. Then after that, in place of body field three, we will enter the percentage that student has scored or secured in this exam. 
and at last we will enter the result as the the student is passed or failed so this kind of four basic body fields i have created so exam underscore result we will select this very same template in pavli connect exam underscore result then after selecting the template it is asking us language code and template id so these both of these things are detected automatically so we don't have to make any changes over here then it is asking us for the recipient mobile number so in place of recipient mobile number we have to mention the whatsapp number of the students to whom we are sending whatsapp messages with the results so we have entered the whatsapp number over here in our google sheet and we have received the response or the date of google sheet in pavli connect so here from this response from the response of iterator we will map this very same number over here in this recipient mobile number field and the process of mapping guys is very simple simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses of iterator select the response of mobile number and map it over here and the help text below it says enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign so we have to enter the mention the whatsapp number the mobile number with country code but we don't have to mention it in the plus with the plus sign so make sure that you add the country code with 10 digits mobile number but remove the plus sign from that then after that guys it is asking us body field 1 body field 2 field 3 and field 4 the very same four body fields which we have created in our template message so in place of body field 1 we wanted to add the name of the student so we have entered the name of the student in google sheet and received the google sheet response in pavli connect so we will use the same process of mapping to map the name of the student just click on this field and from the drop down from the responses of iterator select the response of name of the student then in place of body field 2 we wanted to mention the class of the student so from iterator responses we will map the class over here then in place of body field 3 we wanted to map the percentage so the percentage secured and in place of body field 4 we wanted to map the status the result status over here so after mapping all these data just click on save and send test request so after clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that a whatsapp message with our selected template is sent on this very same number So guys let's check the WhatsApp account of this number. And yes guys we can see that just now we have received a very same WhatsApp message template which we have created in cloud api cloud api in this number. This message says hello dummy name means the name of the student which you have entered in our google sheet. Your class 12th result has been announced. The same class which we have entered percentage secured 70% same percentage which we have entered in google sheet result status is pass. You can collect your report card from school. Thank you. Regards, MB School. So, guys, we can see that this is the very same template message which we have created in WhatsApp Cloud API, and with the very same details of the results of the student which we have entered in our Google Sheet. So, which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. So, guys, the whatever the automation which we have created will be executed on the selected date and time which we have selected in schedule in our trigger window. So, on this particular date and time, this automation will trigger, get the details or the data or the results of the student from our Google Sheet. Then, after that, we will send the WhatsApp message one by one to all of those students with their exam results with the selected template which we have created in WhatsApp Cloud API. So not just these applications guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this very same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli connect pricing at this link So if you this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to Pavli thank you have a nice day